a company offered 80 printers at a 25% discount over a 7-day sale. The line graph shows the number of printers left unsold at the end of each day. So the keyword here is left unsold. So now let's try to interpret the, the line graph. Meaning at the start of the sale, we have 80. And after day 1, we have 64. And after day 2, we have 40. Followed by 28. 20. 16, 12, and lastly, 4. So for part A, on which day was the most number of printed sold? So um, can we see that on day 1, okay, the number of printers sold will be 80 minus 64. Number of printers sold on day 2, it will be 64 minus 64. 40 and so on so to find the most number of printers sold we just need to find the steepest line so as we can see from day 1 to day 2 the line is the steepest that means the most number of printers were sold um, on day 2 so for part A the answer would be day 2 Okay, now part B. What percentage of the 80 printers were sold in the first three days of the sale? So part B. We can find the number of printers sold for the first three days. That will be just taking 80 minus of the remaining printers on day 3, 28. So 80 minus 28 equals to 52. And if we were to convert uh, 52 printers out of 80 into a percentage, that would give us 52 out of 80 times 100% equals to 65%. Okay, for part C. During the sale, the discounted price of the printers was $120. So the discounted price is $120, which is sold at a 25%. That will tell us that 100% minus 25% discount equals to 75%. So 75% of the price is $120. So the actual price of the printer without discount would be 100%. So 100 over 75 times $120, we have $160. So let's come back to the question. After the sale, the remaining printers were sold without discount. What was the total amount of money collected from selling all 80 printers? Okay, so we know that in this sale, 80 minus 4, which is 76 printers, they are sold at 25% discount, which is $120. And there are four remaining printers. 
that were eventually sold without any discount, which is $160. So the total amount collected would be 76 times $120 plus 4 times $160. That will give us $9,760.